The League is now attempting to take decisive action in the region of Earth. Navy forces are defending in substantial numbers. However, intermediate reports indicate that a lack of organization among some enemy units is allowing League forces to advance further. Fierce retaliatory measures are evident throughout the Earth zone. Units must endeavor to break through cordons and concentrate the final assault on Earth <laughs> itself. Intense enemy action is reported in a region bound by the Earth and its moon. Titan craft are present in this area. If we are to weaken the enemy force significantly, these Titans must be destroyed. Oh, yay. Engage enemy <laughs> units and ensure the destruction of all such craft. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll just have to EMP it then to death. Uh, you know. Seriously, like Titan. Oh, okay. The ship and Titans. This is a stealth craft. This don't decide to take it up from the Titan. Eh, yeah, whatever. What can you do? What can you do in the gunfire? What I would like, though, is like a Sins of a Solar Empire mod for this. That'd be cool, I think. Oh, that's like scary. It literally is, just look at the thing. It's intimidating as all crap, though it does look like a modified version of the Starship Bloody Enterprise. Freaking Galaxy Class. This is a Galaxy Class turned evil! Okay, we've almost got rid of the systems, or sensors. Still not finished with it? Come on. There we go. Good work. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying good work. Seriously, that scatter can. I mean, look at it. Look at the amount of firepower that thing throws. Oh, jeez, bloody typhoon. Seriously. Oh, arg. Get rid of this thing quickly. It just spits out firepower. Like no one's business. No F ands or bucks, it should really quickly. It's like two um, scatter lasers. Use your scatter cannon, man. Ah, wrong one. That was my mistake. I'm gonna keep the torpedo in case there's another one. Just call it a hunch, I guess. There we go. Great shot. It wasn't that hard. I mean, I was literally just staring at the thing. Yeah. There we go. Told you. Just like. Uh, how are you doing, Navy Titan? Oh, you're fine. Well, not Titan, but Navy Dreadnought. Ooh. Ah, jeez. 
That guy with a bike again? Seriously? It's same D, but still. That guy with the bike? Sarah's later. There we go. I don't know how what's well, faster, just doing that, pulsing it, or to continuously do it and just hold down the button. Does that feels faster to go like that? But I don't know. All done. That's it. All done. Oof. This has been a good day. Be proud of yourselves, pilots. Victory is almost ours. Mission complete. Thank you. Commencing jump sequence. Oh. They do really blow up, don't they? Those things. Now just imagine how much debris is over Earth. It's almost not useful to go for Earth anymore, is it? Hmm. But yes, victory is almost ours. We've almost got freedom for the colonies. And yeah. So, until next time, all the best. And I'll see you in the lore video. Don't know why I said until next time. Anyway, I'll see you then. Welcome back to uh, the lower section of the video. I'm sorry, that was failing my part. I meant to put this at the start all, or all at the end of the last one. So the Earth anyway. is the Empire's seat of government. It is of immense symbolic value, as well as being the center of the Empire's military and political power. It is a rock planet, largely covered in water, which was once rich in resources. Systematic extraction of all sources of fuel have left much of the planet sterile, although its wealth remains vast due to the removal of resources from the colonies. <laughs> all human life can be traced back to origins on Earth. The colonies were established to support life on the planet once its own natural resources have been completely exhausted. Intriguing. The discovery of the drug fluoraldic thorophosphate, commonly known as anti-age, boosted the average age of the Earth's population within a generation. <laughs> Resource depletion reached epidemic proportions concurrently. Starvation and chronic overcrowding followed. Satellite holding bays were built to house excess humanity in barbaric conditions. Insurrection was anticipated resulting in a massive expansion of the Earth's military and law enforcement capabilities. However, the Artificial Atmospheric Simulation Procedure, perfected by Oxylex Corp. in 3046, led to the possibility of habitable colonies on Mars. The Institute for Off-Planet Development stated, The Martian surface will lend itself to the extraction procedures used on Earth for so many years. Now our workers can live there too. We must proceed with this project, or die. Earth's defenses are the subject of much debate. Hidden matter shielding is likely. Intensity readings are off the scale. Therefore, very little information can be provided. All other factors are unknown. So basically, they decided to try and colonize Mars in desperation because they decided to, I don't know, create a drug that would exponentially increase the growth of the population? Hmm, sounds like a smart idea. Uh, well, I'll have time to look up the Titan and then that'll be the end of the episode. Uh, come on.
There we go. Titan. Titan. The origins of the Titan are unknown. It is a recent addition to the Navy's fleet and is regarded by Empire commanders as the weapon which will ultimately smash the League of Free Worlds uprising. Analysis of the Titan's alleged capabilities suggests that it may be capable of destroying entire worlds. Oh, although yeah. such speculation is yet to be confirmed. Hmm. Yay. <laughs> that sounds great. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll leave it there, and until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoy it.